In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can eliminate the sliding action that sometimes happens with a walk cycle. If you don't have the animation of the position of the character when it's walking perfectly match with the speed of the walk cycle, it will look like the character is either sliding forward or sliding backwards with their feet. Generally, this is an unwanted situation and we can fix this. Of course, you can try to animate it just by guessing, but with Duic, we can actually see the parameters of the walk cycle and then calculate precisely how fast our character needs to move. First, click on the walk cycle controller. Then if you go to the effects and controls window for walk cycle, we have the parameters for general motion, offset, also the main parameters that allow us to change things about the general walk and also the walk cycle, which allows us to change directions. For example, a positive value makes it walk left to right, a negative value makes it walk right to left. More importantly, we want to look at the animation data of the walk cycle. If we twirl out computation, these are automatically calculated by expressions within Duic, but we can use the data here to calculate our walk cycle. Some important ones to note are the cycle duration in frames, this also shows it in seconds, so here it's 0.94 seconds and 28 frames. The other one we really want to know is the step amplitude. It says centimeters here, but just know that this is a pixel value. So for example, we have 202.34 pixels per step. There are two steps in a walk cycle, so we need to calculate what that is double. So 202.34 times 2 is 404.68. We now know that in one cycle, the character moves 404 pixels. But notice that the cycle duration at this setting is only 28 frames. So we need to divide the 404 by 28 frames. That gives us 14.45 pixels per frame. We can just move the character so many frames and then times it by 14.45, or we could times that 14.45 by 30, and then we know how far it moves per second. So this shows that we have 433.58 pixels per second. So that means on the green person, I can press P, and at the beginning, I can press a position keyframe. I can move the character anywhere I wish off frame, one thing that might be nice to do is to go ahead and use Duic to zero out this position. So now, if I move the playhead forward to six seconds, then I need to have six times 433. That gives me 2,601 pixels. So I can easily just add 2,601. Let's play and see if the feet are sliding. As you can see, our character is perfectly walking across the screen because the movement of the character from left to right is precisely the exact number of pixels that the character is stepping when the character walks. This is a great way for you to avoid the walk cycle sliding effect. Let's show what happens when we change some of the parameters. I'm going to select the walk cycle controller again. Now up in effects and controls, there's a couple things that will affect the parameters. Notice we have the step amplitude. If we change the walk speed, this changes the step amplitude, so now it's 601.25 pixels. We can change the cycle frequency by changing the height of the character. So if we make the character taller, now the cycle duration is 40. We can make the character shorter, and the cycle duration will also be shorter. So you can modify these. So what I'm going to do is make the cycle duration just a little bit longer. So now we have a walk cycle duration that takes 34 frames and our step amplitude is 115. We do the same calculation. If we multiply 115.62 times two, we get 231.24 pixels per cycle. Now we need to divide this by 34. So that's 6.8 pixels per frame. If we multiply 6.8 times 30, that means our character is moving 204 pixels per second. So let's now multiply that again by six. This time we need to change the position keyframe to 1224. So this means our character will not make it all the way across the frame. And as you can see here, our character is now walking slowly, but still doesn't look like it's sliding. 
So far, we've shown how to fix the sliding feet action with a static background. Now I'm going to show you how to fix this with a scrolling background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the position keyframes on our character. So now we have our character positioned in the middle. I'm going to hide the visibility of this background and show a different background. This is a 9,000 pixel perfectly looping background. It is just static right now, but we can easily add an effect. Go to the effects and presets and type scroll. After Effects has an auto scroll horizontal preset that we can drop right on the composition layer. We can set the speed in pixels per second. Let's go back to the walk cycle controller first and speed up our character. Let's go ahead and have it walk a little faster. Let's say a, a speed of four. Now we have much longer step amplitude. We could either change the cycle duration, keep it at 34 or change that again by changing the height. Just for demonstration purposes, let's go ahead and change it to 240 so we get a slightly longer cycle duration so you can see how the math works. The first thing to do is to multiply the step amplitude by two. So 231.25 times two is 462.5. Now we need to divide that by the number of frames in the cycle duration. Divided by 37 gives us 12.5 pixels per frame. Now, to get the speed in pixels per second for the scrolling preset, we multiply this by 30. That gives us an even 375 pixels per second. So we go back to the looping background, and we can change the speed in pixels per second. This will actually scroll the wrong way, to fix this, just put in a negative value for the scroll. So now we have a character that's walking with a scrolling background, and it looks like the feet are walking and placing firmly on the ground. There's no slipping and sliding. These two techniques can be combined. You can have the background scroll and the character move across the screen. The only thing you've got to keep in mind is the total speed of pixels per second has to add up to equal the walk cycle speed. That way you can create lots of different effects by combining the walk cycle movement of the character and the scrolling background. If you like this content, please click subscribe for more videos. The walk cycle rig without any of the backgrounds animated is available for you to download in the description.